my thing is just do I want to spend 100 hours playing a game? It's a fun game. Was it a cauldron? No, that's not a cauldron. Damn it. You still have to go find out what this is. Known shelter? I didn't even go up there, shit. Can't fast travel. What the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> really quick. Because if I don't, it'll bother me. It'll bother me. Mm -mm. Okay. Gonna like book it. We aim for that, that way we can stop at the shelter on the way. Also, hopefully, we may figure out, like, you know, so I can find the damn cauldron. Because. I don't know the mine has been taken over. quickly Ow. little shit okay but that was really impressive how we just handled that You were just, I'm putting you in your misery at this point, jeez. That poor guy was just like, hanging on. How did I forget you? have to do this can you stop Oh, 
Oh shit, I have no stam! Ugh, damn. Damn, damn. Ugh. I'm trying to wonder if um, the sca scav scavengers, whatever they're called, the ones I just got killed by. I'm trying to wonder if they actually only Fire, show up walking. whenever I uh, whenever I wipe out all the uh, what they call it? the burrows. But notice that they always show up then. I'm trying to wonder if that's tied. Shelter, I'm actually really curious about. What the fuck is it? I'd love if my controller didn't drift. That was a good shot. That's a good shot too. Okay, but if I can just stay like Unnoticed, I can do. That's fine. Take what we can get while we can. Things we can grab. I think that we were able to not alert them because we were able to take these burrows down quickly. I'd be wrong though. 
Because yeah, we got multiple sound shells, so that implies we kind of like prevented any alerting. Which is good. Don't need to alert the uh, cavalry. Right there, hell yeah. What is this place? Whatever it is, got a save point, so we're doing that. Uh, excuse me, got a stash. And a workbench. Do the workbench, see what we can do. What, uh, what can we upgrade? Looks like a lot, actually. Upgrade this a bit. Those are the ones I think we were fighting earlier. Oh, time to fight. <laughs> still Jesus Jeez All the ass kickings Guys come on You hate me, I hate you, but can we, like, at least meet each other respectfully? I feel like we're in, um, Utah at this point, because, like, I'm getting the feeling this is Zion, meant to be Zion National Park. This feels a lot like Zion from uh, Fallout New Vegas. So we've got to be in Utah. Dyer can make use of this. Quickly grab all these woods. Now we got all the stuff over here. What is this place even called? There, does it, there isn't one. Okay, it's just a settlement. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we missed anything else. We'll save the one thing. That is uh, right up there. I think that actually this might be the cauldron actually. Just because of the, cl the cliff face and everything. Don't. I'll check that out next. 
Yeah, my guess is since um, the main game was in Colorado, I'm willing to bet where we are now is uh, at least Utah. Everyone who's played New Vegas, when you did um, Dead, not Dead Money, Honest Hearts, looks familiar. If, that's, if, if I got it right, I will be impressed. Because I've never been up that part of the country. Okay. I don't know why. When I play these games, I get, like, Son of Man from Tarzan stuck in my head. Oh, my mouth. There it is. Oh, you're still okay. here. Come on, let's go. You. Everything okay up there? Yeah. What, so you care now? Yeah, no, not just. I'm just making small talk. Keep up the good work. You know, like, I think you're funny in your, like, sarcastic, awkward way, but you're also an asshole. Like, you're an asshole. You're funny, but you're an ass. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm making small talk. Like, that's relatable as fuck. But we saw it before, he was just a bastard. Did we go the wrong way? Wait, no, we didn't, okay. We didn't go the wrong way, I'm just not sure what the right way was. There's nowhere else to go that way, so... something to get in there okay at least now we know because otherwise it would have bothered me Sale. See what you got. Medicinal berries, that's cool. Let's see, what can we get rid of? It's always my like nightmare of like what can i can i not sell i always feel like if i sell anything i'm gonna make, regret it instantly especially in these games where everything is like actually as a purpose
Um, last plates. Nine out of 15. We can't sell the wood? That's dumb. Uh... May the sun light your path. Yeah, you're kind of creepy when you say shit like that. I'm gonna ignore it. Is that it? Yeah, now we can move on. Okay. Do we do we put on the new armor? I forget. Yeah, we did. Okay. Maybe I just scan each one. Nope. Maybe it's in this. That's annoying as hell. <laughs> so far, we've only counted five. See? Burrower, Scrounger, Charger, the Fanghorn, the Bristleback, Slitherfang. Uh, let's see how many times we died. And how many times we died? Huh, well, I guess that's kind of good. Still at 8%. Sitting pretty. There's Errand. That looks like he's had a few. I've already talked to him, though. Uh oh. You forget something? Um, nope. I should head out. Yeah, I know. I really wish we'd get that chip Why off the, the shoulder. Face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Why? Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. <sighs> All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do. But I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. Uh... Okay, about the embassy. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offered tribute of food, spices, and gear. In yeah, exchange, I... the Tanath returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Person. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh Marshals. 
Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. Fun. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. I like all the NPCs we've encountered so far. They this all way. seem cool. There's a lot of activity going on around here. Let's not tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor... We still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. Sorry about that. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I did. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Yes. Alvin loves me. In one way or another. Stand aside, soldier. Sir. How goes it, Hammerhead? There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. Mm. Why this gun we can have Tell me you're doing and better than yesterday. Beyond me. Thank you, by the way. Uh, how are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? What more can you expect from elitist assholes? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be Shut up. I really want to throw that scroll off the ledge. The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many mm -hmm. banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the east where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, Run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? <laughs> That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. She is kind of relying on her thing, her reputation a little too much for someone who doesn't want the reputation. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Might be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting grounds near here to train up. Again, like, for someone who really hates her reputation, she leans on it a lot. And I get it, she's, us she's using his leverage, which, in this situation, good on her. But she can't one minute be like, oh, don't use that stuff, you know, hey, I'm awkward. Then be in the same breath, I saved you all, yield before me and do it as I say. It's not a good look for her. Oh, I saw one. And by not a good look, I mean, it makes her look spoiled and rotten. Don't get me wrong, it's a human trait to do that. I probably would do it, too. But can't deny how much of a problem it is. 
Looks like the commanders found a kindred spirit. Ignoring me again. In me or them. Those are all these on. How goes it, Hammerhead? Grapple point. Delve, you should find something. How goes it, Hammerhead? Okay. There's like really nothing here we could we can do, so try this again. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. What Only else our annoyance. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Someone approaching! On a machine! Ah, fuck, he caught up with us. Girl. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, can't do it. Sir, it's the savior. I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself. The gate stays sealed until that horn blows. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's happening? Hey, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not going to work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is going to do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? <laughs> and through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. If I was Aaron, I would have ran. It's like, it's like if you're taking Val, you're taking me. So this tribe that Marat told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. <laughs> yes, I do. We'll see how it goes. I see Silver. Yes. That's a very impressive dam. Like, I, I will admit it, that is impressive. Here we go. Where'd you go? Who is that? Marsh. Oh, mother. Look at that. We are not Karsha.
That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! Okay, I'm interested. She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. Hey. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. That's suggestive. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding Fashav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Oh, shit. Vod gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avad always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here, as it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. Okay. You arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. Yay, politics. <sighs> How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. <laughs> Please. Are you sure you want to hear it? Asked. I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. Yay. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this right, called the Kurut. Thinking that by winning, I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. It's not yes. what I think it is, is it? But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Oh. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Okay. Believe me. 
It is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Shadow Karja. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Znoth chief. The winners of the Korut must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? Well, the word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, marshals are Hikaru's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Ooh. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakhs still spat on the ground when I walked by. Or they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. it As is. you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. Yeah? I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But... But there is much to admire about the Tanakh. Th especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. Propaganda. It's true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. That's good. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, you would find that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. I like this guy. I like him a lot, so far. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it. But not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Hopefully yeah. they will. The way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink as decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. Oh? A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. That's cool. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. That's... I can appreciate that. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. <laughs> but I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The mm. Tanakhs don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Good. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. That's even better. You asked why I need rite of passage. Tell him the truth. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. Arrogant. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. 
But... The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. But... I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Go back Chief and Akaro get Aaron. knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Him. The Sky Clan's banner. We have all three now. Perfect timing. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Oh, come on. Does that mean we get to go with Aaron at least? The Karja have opened the gates. So few. Come on, you were so pompous before. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such. Fuck. Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. Thank you. <laughs> you have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us, exile. That is a raptor. With... Lancers! Pour them up! Oh, now we're in trouble. They're riding machines. I mean, Where I can learn that? to do that. Silence. Silence. Fashav, come with us now, or not at all. Archers, light them up. No, protect. Okay, Aloy, we have to do something. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Run them down. 
and we do something, please. They're not gonna make it. See, what would be nice is if the Vanguard came out. Coward. Open the gate! <sighs> you know, I want to say I feel bad. Stand your Fire on will. I don't have a shot. Good show. Oh. No. Hey, he's badass. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Good. Get ready! Here we go. Stick to cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! We are being we are being overwhelmed. Marshals can't die because if they die, we're fucked. Shit. No. Good bro. Oh damn. Did he catch it? Caught it. Holy crap. Oh. It's you and me now, boy. Get her from We've survived worse. Oh, 
Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Could you guys like just, you know, fuck right off? See, when you're cheering for a rebellion, certain rebellions just don't work. Ow! God damn it. You know, just... Oh, good, good dodge, good dodge. Enough. Lost enough you, people. Outlanders, I'll skin you both. Oh, come on, Chief. Grant me the honor of this challenge. You've lost plenty of people. Let it go. Granted. God damn it. Yeah. What the f I'm sorry, that did he just use a hard light glider? It's a shield too. Okay, I want one. You're next, girl. <laughs> I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. Oh. I can break through a shield if I damage it. I gotta get through that shield. No. No. Oh. There, now's my chance. That won't stop me. Actually, it might. Come on, back away, back away. You're not stopping me. Should help. Come on, I need more healing plants. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Whoa. Okay. 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 I want what he has.
Because that's fucking bullshit. I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. I can break through a shield if I damage it enough. <laughs> no. Pick your guy down. Your turn. was an honorable challenge you've earned your life today oh thanks comrades mark this day today you have decimated the marshals slaughtered the Karja. so begins our war on hikaru Move out. again she has a dino I hope that all the marshals aren't dead. That's one. Oh shit, what happened to his arm? Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? I mean, guess I'm stuck with Aaron for now. Come on, I'll take you back to the fort. Oh, boy. Not to be mo mean to Aaron, but where the fuck were the um? Th where they? Where, yeah, where were they? 